Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud Hosting back with another great video in our series on Jet Backups. Did you know that Jet Backup creates a backup every day for each email account under your cPanel? The backup includes all the messages and the structure of your mailbox just as it appears in your webmail or your favorite email app, like Outlook or Apple's Mail.app. In this video, we're going to examine email backups, and I will show you how to restore an email account as well as how to generate a download of that email account for offline purposes. Let's get started. The Email Backups module in Jet Backups allows you to restore all of the messages from a chosen email account. This is handy if you have a user who's accidentally deleted a message and also emptied the trash can in their email, or if you need to recover an email message for HR or compliance reasons. The first step to access Jet Backups is to log into your cPanel. If you're a Kimmy Cloud customer, you can click the link in the description to open Lab, our client portal, and then open your cPanel. If you're not a Kimmy Cloud customer, you can log into your cPanel using the method your host provides. Once you have your cPanel open, look for the Jet Backups section of cPanel, which is always second from the top, and click Email Backups to open the Email Backups utility. Once the email backups area is open, we can see that we have a lot of backups here to choose from. Your account may have more or less backups available depending on the age of your account and how many email accounts you have created in your cPanel. Because many users often have many email accounts, you may find the search function handy when searching for a specific user's account as it will allow you to filter out everyone else's accounts and backups. Let's restore from one of our backups. Note the backups on this page are sortest from newest to oldest. A few days ago, I received an email from an old friend, but I've accidentally deleted it and I want to restore it. I know that I received that email on January 11th, so I'm going to restore that backup. Before I do, however, I want to call out that there will be data loss in restoring this backup. Any email that I have received since January 11th will be removed from my inbox and any folder that I may have moved the message into. Additionally, any email I've sent since January 11th will be removed from my sent items folder. To proceed, I'm going to click Restore next to the January 11th backup. As we can see, we're prompted to check the box if we are sure we want to restore this account. The warning is the same one that I've just mentioned a few moments ago. Since I am sure, I'm going to check the box and click the blue Add to Restore Queue button. Similar to full account backups, these backups are placed in the queue because the server needs to reach out to the off-site backup server and retrieve the files. Let's open up the queue and check on the status of the restore by clicking the squares in the top left corner to return to the main cPanel screen, and then we'll click queue beneath the Jet Backup section to open the queue utility. Because we only process one restore request at a time, if you have requested additional email accounts be restored, they will be placed in queue and completed one after the other. As we can see, our restore is finished, which means that email message I deleted by mistake is now back in my inbox where I needed it. Before we finish, there's another aspect of the email backups feature that I'd like to talk about. Let's return to our email backups area by clicking the squares in the top left corner and then clicking email backups beneath the jet backup section. Next, let's locate the same January 11th backup and click Generate Download. This feature will instruct Jet Backups to reach out to the offsite server, which stores your backups, and create a compressed file similar to the zip file containing the entire email box structure of that particular account, including all of its messages and attachments. Similar to restoring, you'll be asked to confirm your action, but it's important to note that by generating a download, you are not at risk of data deletion or data loss. The mailbox itself won't be restored. You'll just be given a link to download the mailbox as a tar.gz file, which is very similar to a zip file. You can then download this file, unzip it on your computer, and find the message or messages you're looking for that way. Generating a download is very helpful if you're seeking a message or group of messages as part of an HR investigation or compliance audit, for example. Whereas restoring a mailbox is helpful if the users made an error and erased all of their mail or a particular message. To proceed with this download, I'm going to click Add to Download Queue. Our download request is in progress, and Jet Backups is currently reaching out to the offsite server and compressing the files. Shortly, we'll have a button called Download where we can use that to save the files to our computer. 
Excellent. So we can see that the download option has appeared. To save this compressed email account to my computer, just click download. And the download has begun. Once you've downloaded the compressed backup file, be sure to click delete download so it's not consuming any space in your hosting account. This does not delete the mailbox or any of the backup files. Your backups and messages are still safe. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimmy Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry, along with a fast, secure, and reliable hosting cloud platform, backed up by our five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out for 45 days worry-free. We're confident that you'll be satisfied with our services or your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the future. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to our channel.